James Bond's list is up against Unsei Young of Korea, who is on a most extraordinary run of success so far in 2022. Seven tournaments played, seven finals reached. Well, as far as the women's singles is concerned, this is the bottom half of the draw. And two-time winner and four-time finalist in total, Tai Su Ying, is safely through to the quarter-final stage. And also in this half of the draw, was last year's beaten finalist, Wang Shi Yi, China. Singapore. So a big roar from the home fans for the home player, Yu Xiaomin. And here, Anse Young. Seven finals in seven individual tournaments played so far this year. Quite extraordinary. But also quite extraordinary, I thought, was the fact that Anse Young is playing in her first ever Singapore Open. Never played this event before. So this will be a seventh meeting between these two players. The previous six, Sansa Young has won five of them. And most concerning for the home fans is that she's won the last five, including that last meeting, which was the first round of the Malaysian Open last year, which last year the Malaysian Open was a 750 event. Now it's moved up to 1,000 and this Singapore Open last year was a 500 event and this too has moved up a tier to a 750. Yo Xiaomin is 24 years of age, born here in Singapore, so both her parents are Malaysian. That equates to about 5 foot 5 and she went up five places on the world ranking this a week, two days ago, to 29, but has been as high as 16. Two different spells at 16, a total of 16 weeks. And this is her fifth Singapore Open, and it's the third time that she has been in the second round. Last year, she was in the second round and lost to the number six seed, Cho Chu Wong, in three games. Now, look at that first round win. Wasn't that impressive against uh, Chang Yi Man? the 2021 World Championship bronze medalist. 34 minutes and two straight games, and I watched that, and I was very impressed with Yu Xiaomin. So to the number two seed, Anse Young, who is only 21 years of age, from Guangzhou in the southwest of the country. 170 equates to about five foot seven. And this is her 27th week in total at her career high of number two. It's actually her second spell, but she is, unsurprisingly, number one on the race to the World Tour Finals. Well, she beat her teammate, Kim ga Ung in the first round, and that was played yesterday. 40 minutes for 16 and 16. And really, since COVID, I think that Anse Young has uh, really started to dominate women's singles along with uh, probably two or maybe three other players. There's four players that I always think could win any Ready tournament. There was a stage where we had eight players or so that I thought could win any tournament, but sadly with the injury to Okuhara, PV Sindhu's gone off the boil. Uh, obviously the injury problems to Carolina Marin. So now I think there's four or maybe five women's singles players. And certainly Anse Young is right up there as one of them. Seven finals, four titles so far in 2023. But it's still not a record. Li Shuerei reached 11 finals in 11 tournaments played back in 2013 Ladies and 14. On my right, Anse Young, Korea. Umpire David Evans getting this match underway.
it's going wide. So, Steen, what is it that makes Anse Young so special? Why is she enjoying so much success? Yeah, we saw already when she first emerged on um, on the scene that she had something um, mentally uh, very competitive uh, mentally and um, very good at anticipating uh, our opponent's uh, game. So uh, a strong defense, I think. Uh, what has sort of uh, brought her up amongst the top two. I agree that I think there's five players that can, um, can battle for the biggest wins at the moment, but Anse Jung and uh, Yamaguchi, they have been the dominant ones, uh, in my opinion. And what has brought her up uh, as um, all England champion here, and, and in my opinion, the favorite um, is that she's improved her attack. She said she would, and I think she has. Um, it's also interesting that here, where she uh, won the coin toss, she chose to receive, and I, I see that as a sign of confidence that she doesn't really mind which side she plays on in the first game. They can just, they can just uh, come over everything they've got and um, and she's going to uh, play back at Four, any two. opponent yeah you may be right it could be interpreted as a sign of naivety first time she's played the singapore open <laughs> yeah perhaps doesn't completely understand the severity of the uh, exactly. conditions exactly That follow-up, the, the smash and the follow-up. I know it was uh, a bit of an easy position. It was well in front of the uh, double line there, but but we didn't see a lot of that last year. She was fully aware of it, saying, I know I have to improve my um, attacking skills. The shot quality that uh, she has in her um, sort of patient uh, playing style is absolutely second to none at the moment. Play. I'll tell you one of the things that impresses me, Steve, when I compare her to, uh, you know, the, the top 30 in the world or whatever, is her poise and balance yeah. especially when she's lunging forward on and even that overhead shot oh, you can so see that. it's wonderful balance six. yes she anticipates Three. well but especially lunging forward i think that she's always on lovely balance and, and therefore her true. recovery is so quick yeah and if we think back both to last year and perhaps even more the um, restart of badminton after the uh, covid um, she was sporting some uh, bandages around her, especially right thigh. They're gone now, so that indicates to me that she's become stronger, as you say. Um, very efficient footwork. to sit on the top of the tape. Well, two Singapore players have reached the women's exactly. single semi-final before at their home event, 31 years ago and 11 years ago. And if you can name those two players, Steen, I'm going to buy you dinner. <laughs> Six, four. Singapore. No, representing no. Singapore, yeah, I should yeah. hasten to add. No, no one really comes to my mind uh, immediately. No. No. 31 years ago, 1992, Zorina Abdullah lost to Hanjin Na. And then in 2012, Zing Ai Ying. Zing Ai Ying. Yeah, no. Doesn't exactly ring a bell. Oh, goodness me, she was a, a lovely player.
good work from Young Charming. Good control of the rally. to the lead. Five of the last six points to the Singaporean. Yeah, good pace. It's going wide. Interesting Eight. to me that Anse Young is using a lot of body attack at the moment, Steen. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure exactly why. Uh, you could say that if it's about to go long, the smashes, the body will stop it. But. Um, oh, my word. Shot. Take that. One of the things there is with the. Uh, body attack is that it's very difficult to get it um, back long most of the uh, defense from body attack is something that goes short yeah that's great attacking play I like that so it's a two-point advantage for the number two seed from Korea Unsei Young here at the mid-game interval of the opening game Certainly been some good badminton so far in this women's singles encounter. Good skills, good movement. Oh no, that was plumb on the line. Good call, line judge. Wow. Ten. Was that a service error there, Steen? What I happened did, there? I didn't see. I was watching the replay there of the um, shot to the back line from uh, June. Beautiful shot. Thirteen. Ten. She seemed to hardly touch that. Only at long as the back line. 
It really is a vicious drift. Oh dear me. Well, that's certainly a service error. I suspect it's two now. Deceptive hold and flick. Yeah, that's another th thing that we could mention from Anza Young's game. A lot of small deceptions on almost all her shots and still maintaining high quality. And still on perfect balance as she lunged forward yeah. to that. That's why she had so many options. here seems to be the body language nice you can see here how difficult it is for you I mean, to get out of this when she's first put under pressure aren't enough though. Significant. Eight game point opportunities for Unsay Young. It's a good lift from there. Opening game, 21-12. And Anse Young in the second half 12. of that opening game, showing us exactly why she's been in seven finals from seven tournaments so far this year. Total control, even though she's playing the more difficult end, able to move her opponent from corner to corner. So 14 minutes for the opening game in 2112. We push again. Don't go center. She cannot push. Just only block. Only block. This is easy. Understand? 
before you want to open, you want to push, is free. As long as you follow, next, 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 you can open. So more, more active. But don't do much here. Because after you drink, right? She ready already. Now she only standing there now. Second game. Level play. Well, she was very impressive in the second half of that opening game, and Se Young. Now, what can Yu Jamin or Singapore do in response to that? Oh, goodness me. Very early going out there. Yeah. So, so that was that was, that's what can earn you an error from your opponent later on that she's so close to getting that one back, and Se Young. It's a great shot from uh, you, Jamin. Thank you. She was so tentative on so that lift, that. wasn't she, Yeo Jamin? Oh. Ended up hitting it very short, and then was vulnerable to the drop shot. The other one's right into the corner. This is just fabulous Three, control. You have to override all those instinctive me muscle memories to adjust to the drift. That's gone wide. Oh. That's a cheap point, isn't it? But it's a it's a dilemma. What what does Yu Xiaomin try and do? Because if she plays back to the nets, her opponent is like there, has has been in early. She's then controlling the rally. You try and push to the back, you're hitting long. No, it's it's really really difficult. I was impressed that she won in straight games yesterday against Zhang Yiman. Uh, yeah, it Jamin. was impressive. So. Um, so she must uh, have played well on the um, near side of the court here, where it's difficult. She's quick on her feet. And so Five, I guess two. also with, with a reasonable bit of, of confidence. Um, the interesting thing was that she went down and played a, a European tour tournament after All England had lost five um, first-round matches um, in the opening of this year. 
and then uh, one Polish Open. And since then, she's actually uh, played quite nice. I think, was it last week she was in the quarterfinal against Blickfeld? Yes, she was. Lost in two straight games. Chris and I actually discussed that at length yesterday about yeah. uh, I said how much I liked the fact that she went down a tier of tournament, yeah. went to an international challenger, got used to that feeling of winning a game, getting that winning feeling back, and then you have a confidence and you know how to win a game. You forget how to yeah. win sometimes if yeah. you're losing first round the whole and, time. And if you're only playing one match a tournament, then you're only playing match play once a week. Yeah. So it's never bad Six, hearing three. 20 match point and you're having the shuttle in your hand. That's always nice. Yeah. Yeah. To touch it. Yeah, the, the problem is that I, I really don't see a way forward for, for you, Jamin, in, in this match here in terms of winning. So it, it's all about playing as, as good as she can and, and um, getting that match practice out of it. Right now, it's. Yeah, I can understand how she's playing in front of her home audience it's it's not so fun right now well if Anse Young chose to receive then Yo Min must have chosen the good end first yeah I think I think she um, must have thought it was important to get off to a good start Which I actually think she did. I think she played really well in the um, first part of the first game. Yeah, it was only 11 9 at the mid game interval. Ten. Yeah, it's all one way traffic uh, now. Yeah, there's no solutions. There's no solutions that are going to earn her. More points than uh, Anse Young. Oh, that's way wide. 11 and 11 3, the advantage. Eight point advantage, one suspects, is absolutely decisive in this second game, considering Anse Young has already won the first. Oh, it's not even close. 23 minutes into the match. And a healthy lead for Anse Young. Colvin Ho is working hard with Yo Jamin. Still giving encouragement. But what do you focus on, Steve, uh, with all your coaching experience? If Yo Jamin was your player right now, would you give her one tactical thing to focus on? What would you say? Uh, it, it's a good question. Uh, it depends a little bit where, where are you with the player in the process. Um, is there anything special that you're working on? Well, you're not trying to get it to work. I, th I think here, some encouragement saying, hey, a lot of other players are experiencing this when, when you play Anse Young. She, she's really, really good. Um, one of the Six goals, seven. I think, would be to sort of be exhausted. I mean, just Four. give everything you've got wow. here. Attack, play, uh, attack, uh, spin it, attack, spin it if you can. Uh, fight so that um, the audience can see that you're giving everything. Five. Wow. Oh. That was quite good. So, please go on. Wow. Seven, seven. 
I don't know if it's just because we've had doubles matches so far, but I haven't been so much aware of the sideways drift, but there's a sideways drift right to left, correct? Yeah, it's substantial. Try to take control of the rallies. If it's flat game, push towards the backhand side of uh, Anse Young and be ready to move immediately. 15, five. But I don't think she's she's there. I mean, I think perhaps right now she just wants to leave the court. That's a super clear. Fantastic. You will not see better than that. 16, a punch clear, five. disguised, clear, flat trajectory. And I think started a little bit outside the line, playing the drift. Yeah, wonderful. Rankings better her overall playing strength to be uh, more dangerous. She's really quick on her feet, which is nice, but a bit more dangerous. That would be um, very helpful. Oh, it almost came back in. So the cell back, 17, 7. Oh, my goodness. If you don't often see that. So the cell back. Completely mistimed the shot. Had another go at it, actually. I think shot came off the frame of your Jamin's racket. Six so over. Eighteen eight. Perfect balance. She's there early. She had so many options. Two points away from the quarter final. And the same one. Nice. Save the silver. 
So match point opportunities. Match point. A whole host of them for Unsei Young of North Korea. Oh, challenge here from Ansei Young. I know it was mighty close. Here we go. On the line. Good challenge, and that means that match over. 21-12, 21-11 in favour of Ansei Young. 31 minutes for her victory, and that for the young Korean was pretty much cruise control. Very impressive indeed. Well, disappointment, obviously, for the home player. Uh, but she was up against, Yun Shamin was up against probably the player in best form in World Badminton right now. Job well done. 21-12, 21-11 through to the quarter-final. Well, it's been rounded up on the giant scoreboard to 32 minutes. So next up, we've got men's doubles. Stay with us. So welcome back to second round action here at the Singapore Open uh, Super 750 event on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Eight matches completed, two more to come. And next up is men's and it's uh, Kusuma Wadana and Arambitan of Indonesia. Up against the number eight seeds on Yusin and Tim Yi. -Yi. 